Good morning, everybody. I would like to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Haiku Deck to create your I am statements. As you can see, I've visited the website, haikudeck.com, and in the top right corner, I'm going to choose Get Started. When you get there, you'll notice lots of options to pay for Haiku Deck, but I want to continue for free, and that's what I'm going to choose here. Now, when you get to this uh, slide, it's going to ask you to create an account. You can do so by typing in your school email address and creating a password, then confirming the password and signing up. I have an account already, so I'm going to click Sign In. And one more time. So here I am being brought to the Haiku Deck website again, now signed in so that I can create my work. And I want to do that by starting a new Haiku Deck. So when I visit this option, it will bring me to the dashboard. And here is where I can get started on my work. Now remember, you're going to need 11 slides in total, one title slide and 10 IM statements. Now this slide, being our first, will be my title slide. And so what you'll notice is that I've got lots of options in terms of how I can lay it out. I also have options here as the way it's going to look. Now I like this original slide type, and I want to just center my work so that it looks nice and neat. And I'm going to click right on the screen, and I'm going to call this I am statements by Mr. Schaefer. Excellent. Now, I want a color to go in my background. So I'm going to choose Set the Background over here on the left. And you'll notice that there are some options. This is the option that I can use to choose a color. And I'm going to go with this orange color. I think it looks cool. So that's it for my title slide. Now I want to go ahead and create my first I am statement. So I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm going to stick with this same slide type throughout my presentation, although you can see what else is out there. My first I am statement, a loving uncle who babysits his niece. And my sister definitely appreciates that. And now I want to choose a picture for my background. Remember that in your haiku deck, you want one picture per slide. Five of these pictures should be your pictures that you get from uh, your Facebook page or your computer, and five pictures we're going to borrow from haiku deck. So to go to pictures up here on the background option, I'm going to choose the first option. Now haiku deck usually recognizes my words. This time it didn't. So I'm going to actually type my phrase here and maybe go for the word babysit. And let's see if any pictures pop up. And they do. So I'm going to choose uh, one of these pictures, and this one's kind of cute. So maybe I'll go with this. Now you'll see that my words are obstructing from my picture, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go over here to select a layout so that I can move my words. And this one fits a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead with this one. And I'm done with my first I am statement. I'm going to now move over to my second one. Uh, this one's going to refer to my work as a teacher. So I am a teacher. Oops, sorry, i got to have my what and my how. So I am a dedicated teacher who always helps is students to succeed. And now I'm going to want to go again with another picture. So I'm going to go to my backgrounds. And you'll notice this time it does uh, recognize my words. So I'm going to see what I can find under the teacher option. I can always click my own, type in my own here. But I'm going to go with maybe this one. And once again, you'll see that my image is being blocked by my words. Now, one other thing you can do is always change the size of your picture, but I think the way it is is fine. But I do want to move my words. So I'm going to choose a new layout and maybe go with uh, this one here. It's a little bit different than my first one, which is nice. And it also no longer blocks the focus of my picture. So there we go. Now, remember, you also are going to need pictures that you own for five of your slides. And the way to do that under your background options is to select the option that says My Pictures. And when you do that, all of these options will pop up. So if there's a picture that you have anywhere on Facebook or Instagram or Google Drive that you would like to use, 
you can. You can also just drag and drop a picture from your computer as well. I am okay with the picture that I chose for this one. The last thing I want to do is show you how to share this on Google+, and that's going to be very, very easy. So to do that, you are going to share up here at the top, and one of the options is going to be to share on Google+. Very simple for us to do. By clicking on that button, your I am statements will come up, and all you want to do is remember to share it with the proper circle, personal branding, and then when you have done so, you're going to hit the share button, and that will share automatically to your Google Plus page. So thank you very much for joining us for this quick tutorial, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.